there! Hi guys, this is Vicky from R&V's English Chatterbox and today I'm gonna teach you grammar. Just simple rules uh, because we are gonna talk about simple tenses, simple present, simple future and simple past. But before, let's watch that video. There's a saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Does it make any sense to you? If not, just leave your comments below this video. And I'm gonna start our today's lesson. So, I'm gonna teach you how to create just positive sentences in present, future and past. Are you ready? Let's kick off our class. Okay, right now you're able to see my screen. Just follow me. We are in a city that is called present. To create a positive sentence, we have to take a subject and a verb. Sentence number one. I play the piano. I is a subject, play is a verb. Let's move on. You play the guitar. We play together. They play in the yard. We did not change a verb. But let's move on. She plays the piano. Yeah, we took a verb and added ending S. This is how it should be. No questions asked, okay? He plays the guitar. We have the same. We added ending S. And the last one, it plays in the yard. It, in this case, can be your dog. So you can say, my dog plays in the yard. Take a look, guys. When you use he, she, and it, you have to, have to add ending S. Got it? Let's move on. And our next city is called future. Here's a lot of simple things are going on. You have just to remember that you need to add will. That's it. Follow me. I will play the piano. You will play the guitar. We will play together. They will play in the yard. She will play the piano. He will play the guitar. My dog will play in the yard. The same sentences, the same structure. Just go. Subject plus will and plus a verb. Let's move on. And our last city is past. So you have to keep in mind, here you are able to use just past form of a verb. Either you can add ending ed or you can use a past form of a verb. Follow me, please. I played the piano. Before we had a verb, play, so we changed it into played. Let's move on. You played the guitar. We played together. They played in the yard. She played the piano. He played the guitar. It or my dog played in the yard. Simple. You have just to remember simple rules to create positive sentences in three different tenses. Once more, in present, future, and past. I hope, guys, it was interesting to you. Please, you have to practice, even if it seems very simple. No, 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 you have to create your own sentences as much as you can. Have questions? You know what to do. Just leave your comments below. That's it for today. Next time I will show you how to create negative sentences. So, take care guys. Bye-bye. See you very soon. Have fun.